How's it going guys, Linux Daily back with another video. Today we'll be talking about the superior way to search the internet. This is Cirx, it's a privacy respecting meta search engine. It pretty much, when you go ahead and make a search query on it, it'll pretty much pull results from a bunch of different search engines. You can go over here to preferences and figure out, this is my instance running on my personal network. I'll show you guys how to get this installed. We jump over to tag one over here. I'm going to be showing this on Debian Linux. This, I'm in an SSH session on limit, on a uh, different Debian server. So the first thing that we want to do is I'll pretty much be copying and pasting these uh, from the website over here. So the first thing that we want to do is install all these packages. So I'm going to go ahead and actually copy and paste from app-git because I'm already running as root. Paste that over here and hit enter this is going to install some of the dependencies that it will need now this is one of many ways you can use the search search engine you can install a docker container that will run the engine or you can use a public instance but this is the recommended way since you are actually hosting your own instance you know all the code that's going to be ran this is much uh, much better and far superior than using something like Google because Google you already know that's kind of spooky DuckDuckGo it's alright but some of the uh, source is not open source you don't really know what's going on plus you don't have physical access to the uh, server that it's actually running on well sometimes in most cases you won't but in this case I do have physical access to this server but if you're gonna run it on a VPS that should be fine but it's better than anything like Google or DuckDuckGo. That's why I like to call it the superior way to search the internet. Alright, so it looks like all the dependencies have been installed. Now it says over here, hint, this also installs packages needed by UWSGI. I'm not going to be doing any U, uh, UWSGI in this video. I'm just going to do with the Python web application. So next on the list is create a user. Well, actually, before I do that, yeah, when you type in sudo on my clean Debian install, it's not found. So I'm going to have to do app-git install uh, sudo. This will let me run the uh, Python virtual environment that we will create later on in the video. I should have uh, put that in up here, but honestly I kinda forgot now when you're doing it on Arch Linux or Fedora RHEL Red Hat Enterprise Linux it may be already pre-installed I'm pretty sure it is but this is a clean Debian install and I guess it just doesn't have it so you will have to install it if you're doing it on an Ubuntu it will more than likely have it I haven't used Ubuntu in years or Ubuntu, I haven't used it in years, so I'm not 100% certain on that. But I know on Debian 10, at least, the one that I installed is the minimal one. It does not have sudo. Alright, now that everything is installed, we can create our Cirx user by copying and pasting this. And placing it right there. This will create the Cirx user, make its home directory, USR, local... Cirks, give it shell slash bin slash bash, give it a comment and obviously the username. But now we will create that directory. I did not copy and paste that right. Alright, it is not copying and pasting quite right. There we go. So I will copy that and now we will make the search user the owner of that directory alright there we go what I had to do is I had to run this export command because for some reason it didn't export my path so it couldn't find the actual thing so it actually never ran I'm pretty sure the uh, mkdir ran yeah it already exists now we can create we can change our ownership of that to our Cirx user. There we go. So now what we want to do is we want to go in to our Cirx user 
and then clone the repo into that directory. First thing I'm going to do is do that and do a pwd. We are in our directory. So we want to run our git clone. This will clone all the files necessary to install Cirques, the search engine. Alright, now that everything is installed from our git clone, we will create our Python virtual environment by copying and pasting this command. Given the uh, power of your computer, this might take some time. I know this is a fairly slower machine that I'm SSH'd into, so this might take a worthy amount of time, but it's all given on how fast your computer actually is. Alright, it looks like the virtual environment has just installed. So now, what's next is we got to copy our configuration file, or uh, the path to it, and echo it into uh, USR local search slash dot profile. Now what we want to do is we want to exit out of our profile, and then log back in with this command, sudo dash capital H, dash capital U, search dash I. You'll notice that it says search hyphen pi env. That means our virtual environment is working. And now we want to run this command dash V to make sure our path looks correct here. It looks like it is compared to over here, yes. Now I am running an older Python version because this is running on Debian, but I'm sure everything will work just fine. Now we got to update pips boilerplate is what it says here. It pretty much updates all the dependencies, pip, setup tools, wheel, pi, yaml. The very quick and easy way to do this is to make a little uh, make a little script called uh, update or whatever. Uh, I'll name it pip update dot sh. I will nano into this because I don't have vim installed. Now what I'm going to do is copy all of this and paste it into here. So now that all that's done we'll control X and then save it. And then I'm going to run this chmod command on it, plus x pip update.sh, this will make it executable. Then all you got to do is just run it, and it'll run all those commands on its own. It'll do it nice and quick too. Well, actually, it might take a little while, depending on your speed of your computer and your internet connection. It might take a little while, but I'll get back to you when that one is complete. Alright, it looks like that script has successfully ran. So now we got to cd to that directory, the uh, search source directory, and then we got to pip install dash e on that. This will uh, install search into the virtual environment. Alright, since that command has successfully ran, once again, we can go down here and start our configuration. So now what we want to do is make this directory slash etsy slash circs. It's probably better off that you switch to your root user, type in your very secure password, and then run that command. Because the uh, circs user doesn't exactly have a password. I copied the wrong thing again. Well, I guess I didn't. It looks the same. There we go. I'm just going to use the default settings. And now, before we do that, we want to go into our Etsy slash circs and nano our settings.yml. Now, if you want to be able to access this from any other computer, if you're going to use this as a server, you want to change this bind address to the address of your server. So mine will be 10.1.30.242 is my local IP for that. So you want to change that. Otherwise it's only going to be able to be accessed by your 
local computer. If you're going to run it on your workstation, which is a viable option too, you won't really have to change it. But in my case, I will want to change that. And then I will write and save. So now it will be bound to my actual address. My local address, that is. Now that that is underway, we want to generate our secret keys. So I will do that really quick with these two commands. And then there we go. Now we can test our setup here with these few commands to see if our install has worked. Now when you do this it's going to run on the foreground so you can either set up like a cron job or something to start this every time your server boots up but for right now for testing purposes this is what we're gonna have to do now what these commands did is this enables debugging it just runs a said command that sets our debugging to true so it will show more verbose output we change to our circs user we change directories to that circ source directory we exported our settings and then now we are about to run our web app we're gonna hit enter and this will take a little bit of time for it to start up we will see some output come down on the bottom of the screen Alright, after you see a bunch of this output and you scroll up a little bit and you see something that looks like almost there. If you see something that looks like uh, this running, that means it should be working. So if we go over here and it's going to load up my actual instance here. But if we go up here and we type in our address with the port of 8888. And here we are. It is loaded. Now you can see that log down here with all this uh, debug information. So now what we can do is close out of it with the control C. Disable our debugging because you can use that processing power for other things. And then get back into our circs start our uh, engine back up here now you can throw this stuff into a script and start it up with a cron job which is actually a fairly straightforward thing to do but right now I'm just gonna start it with Python now it did take a little while for it to initially start up yeah, I guess it had to generate some stuff not exactly sure but it did take it a little bit of time to start alright now that we're started up with no debugging enabled we can go ahead and refresh our browser over here and it still loaded us back in so it is still running Now we can go up here to preferences and change a few things around that might be more suitable for a more secure setup now the first thing that you want to do is go down to style and set this to dark that's the first thing you're gonna to want to do there we go we got dark mode and then we want to go to engines I'm gonna shut Wikipedia off shut Google off I'm gonna add DuckDuckGo uh, let's add that and uh, that looks good to me we can add uh sure let's try a few of these uh, actually i'm going to take off these two leave start page dict zone duck duck go wiki data currency bing and archive is and i'm going to save that then let's do a search linux daily this is running on a slow machine and it might time out a few times if you're running it on a pretty decent CPU or even just like dedicated on actual hardware it might work a little better and it seemed like it loaded all the results sometimes on my actual 
instance it will time out on a few things that's probably a matter of I don't have enough CPU allocated but it looks like it's working fine now but it's working pretty good now obviously it's fully customizable and preferences you can do kind of whatever you want here it's obviously far more secure than anything Google would offer answers plugins you could add different plugins here you could even uh, pick per search engine per like image which is actually really cool so that is pretty much a bare bones overview on how to get a secure search engine set up well it's not really search engine it's meta search engine pulls from other ones but hope you enjoyed the video i'll catch you in the next one